just hold it? Just for a little while? We're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay... How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me! What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Everybody, run! Too close, don't you think? Ben! No, Ben, help her! God damn it! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. Oh, give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? <laughs> Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time. We gotta go, now! How can I? Just go! I'll get the door. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, that's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. 
Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? No, they didn't see us. We were too fast for them. I can still hear them out there. It sounds like they're getting closer. It's just your imagination. I'll feel safer when we're inside the house. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. Krista's right. Looks pretty bad. You're as bad as she is. I'm telling you, it's just a... Ah, oh, Jesus! Quit trying to be a tough guy on me. Hell, I'd be crying like a baby my leg looked like that. Please, we have to get him inside. Don't worry. I'm on it. The shovel is never not useful. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked, too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's, it's radio-controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right, so... Where's the dog? Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? Whatever it is, it's been here a while. You, I can smell it from here. Gross! Clementine, honey. Come sit with me in Onod. Let Lee work. Oh, God, the smell. <clears throat> Can't get it off. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? Nothing. Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. No good, I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Clem, are you okay? Say something! Ta-da! Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell.
Looks okay from here. Everybody in. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that, and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever that was on the radio, I think they were trying to help us. They did warn us, didn't they? Maybe you're right. But whoever it was, they're watching us, following us, and they don't want us to know who they are. I can't think of any explanation for that that would make me feel better. Can you? We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, but I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> Alright, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. I'm not that hungry. Signs I need to finish checking the downstairs. Whoever cleared this place out left behind two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities straight. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. Hey guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far so good. How's that couch treating you, Omid? Leg feeling better yet? I'm alright. I feel you. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. All clear in here. 
Just one more to check. Nothing. Just, uh, nothing. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents, and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. This must have been where he slept. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this guy got not Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. Thank you. 
From us. Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Jimmy? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I'm with Kenny. The sooner we get the hell out of here, the better. Well then hell, what are we waiting for? I'll go get my stuff. No, Ben, you'll only slow us down. Lee and I can go scout the river while the rest of you get ready to move out. You stay behind with Krista and Omid. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it. it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good.
be. So, you want to talk about it? About what? About what happened back there, in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean... River's we... right up ahead. Son of a bitch! That bastard's fucking with us again! It's another trap! No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan, Lee. This is our best and only shot. You said so yourself back at the house. You agreed with me! Yeah, but that was before we... one might still be salvageable. Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. Fuck! 
What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the waterline, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. No sign of any boots down there. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. No way that one's salvageable. The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. The hell? Get down! Get down! Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. from Crawford. Have you been following us? Following you? Kenny, don't! <laughs> no, he's with us! How are you people? I asked you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? That is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened to you? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. 
What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. But still, children, you're not saying they. God's name, why? No one stays in Crawford unless they can pull their own weight. Otherwise, you're just another mouth to feed, another drain on their precious resources. What does that mean, pull their own weight? It just means being able to help out, like you do all the time. Doesn't sound like any kind of way to live to me. Couldn't agree more. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? I came down here looking for a boat, hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Just great. Isn't that the... Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mark, is there a... What the hell do you think you're doing? I'll tell you what I'm not doing. I'm not getting eaten. And what about us? What about you? Please, you can't just leave us. <sighs> Come on, make it fast. <laughs>
Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. some kind of drainage pipe. Looks like this is where the handle would go, but it's not here.
God. Chuck. He must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. the hell? Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Wonder if someone's living down here. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. Look, I don't want to do this. Let's talk, okay? What's to talk about? You won't even tell us who you are. My name is Lee. I'm a history professor. And I don't want to die today. And I don't think you want to kill me either. Don't. Don't come any closer, or I'll shoot. Come on. Let's just talk about this. Vernon, what are you doing? Shoot him! Nobody needs to get shot. Just take it easy. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, we are. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. 
Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him? It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey. You're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine?! Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Clementine, you here? Clem? Hello? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. 
Why don't you go bug them? Clem? Clementine? Clementine! Come out! Please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. You wanna throw down again like back on the train? Cause I fight better when I'm shit-faced. Hey, take it easy. Think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us. That crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Clementine, where are you? Clementine? Clementine! What were you doing in there? Exploring? And look! Look what I found! This was here the whole time? I know, right? Meat's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news, or the bad news? I think we could all use some good news. Good news is, the boat's seaworthy enough. 
In pretty good shape, mostly. Mostly? That's the bad news. Gas tank's empty, and her battery's dead. We need to fix both before she's taking us any place. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? We should go back out on the street, see what we can find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's... Actually, not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So... It's decided, then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight. Under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what gonna be dangerous? Crawford... I can't lie to you, Clem. Yeah, it's gonna be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better, and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this. And you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Can't I come with you? No. I'm sorry.
Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, there ain't gonna be room for everyone. What are you trying to say? Just giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know. Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You understand why you have to stay behind, don't you? I guess. Plus, you have a job to do. An important job. I need you to stay here and watch over the house. Watch over Omid. Well, what should I do if something happens while you're gone? Here. I want you to take this. You remember how to use it, don't you? It's just like I showed you. I remember. So if anyone tries to get inside the house that isn't one of us, or if something does happen to Omid... I know what to do. Let's get you inside. Let's get this over with. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? Let's go. Is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak out, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! Your guess is as good as mine. Shit. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. 
No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Any idea where we could find a battery? Uh, maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. What about the medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Okay. I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? 
It's my fault Doc and Katya got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling I'm him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real. Real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Look, we need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself, for the good of everyone. You hear me? I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Molly, you out here? I'm not going that way. be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Damn, it's jammed tight. Get too close. Leave him. He's mine. What were you doing up there? You got it. One more. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh yeah, that'll work.
Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Looks like it's the holes for the lift hydraulics. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. No power. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. off got it yeah but we still got a problem here put it in here I'll carry it okay follow me move your ass Never stop complaining. Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it... Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Damn well better. 
There's so many of them. You got the fuel. Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Hey, how'd you guys make out? We got the fuel. Awesome. Good job, guys. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. No tape inside. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? It's a medical file for a woman named Correa. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I could see old evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry.
Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. found another tape. This one's dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please, help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination.
Looks like the sick system these bastards cooked up to protect themselves wound up destroying them. Can't say I'll shed too many tears over it. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine... We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You go on ahead. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll be right behind you. Don't take too long. Phones probably haven't worked in months. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna. You don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Nothing in here, I guess. Shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. Sure there's nothing you want to tell me? Yeah, I'm sure. Are we done? What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. 
Gotta go! Ben! Move your ass! What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. Ben, shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Kim, enough! Calm down, man! You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, I said calm the fuck down! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group. That means cutting you loose. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> <laughs> now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! <laughs> So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. <laughs> Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look!
here this leads to the roof we might be able to find a way down from there you didn't come into town from the railroad did you yeah why never mind i can see the sewer where we came in from here i think we can do this well what are we waiting for go go Come on, let's go! Clementine! Clementine! You made it back! Told you I would, didn't I? Did you find my parents? No, we didn't. Sorry, sweet pea. I look for them, but no. Clementine, what happened here? One of those things got inside. It tried to get upstairs. I stopped it. Upstairs? Homemade. You did good, kiddo. Real good. Hey, what do you say we go check on Omid? Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Mm -mm. Uh. Hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He... didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine to understand that. Hell, I don't want her to understand it. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. 
Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course, take your time. But I want you to think about some things. You chose to let that boy die back in Crawford. I gotta wonder about the morality of the kind of man who would do something like that. I got to wonder what kind of parent you'd be. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded. And I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do, after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clementine, this may be hard to understand right now, but... Sometimes, for the good of everyone, we have to make tough choices. Ben was putting us all in danger in Crawford. So I made a decision, and I left him behind. I know that sounds bad, but I had to think about the whole group, not just one person. But I'm just one person. Not to me, you're not. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, 
but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Clementine? 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 Clementine! doing out here it ain't safe Lee where's Clementine she's not in her room Vernon ain't in the house either what the hell is going on whose blood is that it's a walkers fucker jumped me from behind so where's Clementine Clementine's gone I found her hat and her radio on the ground out here that's all I found there's no chance she just wandered off on her own no no way then who the hell took her I don't know Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Clint may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? You've been there for me when it's mattered. How can I not be there for you now? Not to mention Clementine saved my life when you guys were gone. I owe that little girl one. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Lee, man. You know I care about Clementine. And I am a Christian man. I keep asking myself, if this was me, asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Kitty man, I'm begging you here. I can't do this alone. I need your help, please. You might not have been keeping score, Lee, but I have. And you've been looking out for yourself more often than your friends. Well... Maybe that's a good thing. 
because you're on your own on this one. Guess it's just me and you guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. I'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure I can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. Come on, guys. Let's go. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! this. It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your 